Hey guys, Ben Holdred here with Surveyor. I'm standing inside the 296 QBLE, one of our top selling legend bunkhouse floor plans. I'm very excited to get into the top features of this floor plan with you today. There's a lot going on in here. This is a very nice sized trailer, but not a lot of weight. Um, it's just over 6,500 pounds and it's just over 30 feet. So this is absolutely half ton towable. And that's something you're gonna see. Uh, that's going to separate surveyor as you're out there shopping and looking at different brands we are half ton towable across the board you're not going to find a lot of large bunk houses in that half ton towable range uh, so this definitely sets that trailer apart a few things i want to get into that are going to be across the board in the surveyor lineup before we get into some of the features in the kitchen here in the entertainment area of this trailer a couple things i want to talk about first of all we've got 82 inch ceilings uh, we actually raised our our slide out height three inches uh, across the board so slide outs got taller i used to hit my head stepping into the slide outs we raised those up um, i'm almost six feet tall so i can step comfortably into this dinette area um, into the seating area so it's just going to raise that level of comfort for you another thing we did was go to 15k air standard across the board you're not going to find a lot of travel trailer lines out there that are 15k air standard across the board so that's one less thing that you have to do to upgrade that air uh, we're really taking that out of the equation and making this thing turnkey for you so you don't have to add any options in that category. Um, another great thing we did for 2021 model change was we ducted all the heat through the cabinetry. So you're going to see dedicated heat ducts throughout, but we got rid of the floor vents and we've got dedicated heat throughout. That's a very nice upgrade. And we've also got a dedicated duct to the underbelly. So before when we were radiant heat, in that underbelly now you've got dedicated four stair to the underbelly that's something that's going to set us apart really extend that camping season for you um, let's get into this kitchen area we've got a ton of great features going on here you've got scratch stain chip resistant countertops across the board we added this countertop extension here which is very nice again this is a seamless top nice farm style sink residential faucet you've got the really nice backsplash that we upgraded to this year we've got the glass stove cover here so when you're not using that range top, that gives you even more counter space, room to operate, knife block area here with a built-in area for your larger utensils. So we've got that cup that sits down in that knife block. That's gonna help you store some of your bigger spoons, spatulas, et cetera. So a very nice feature as well. But let's move here to the refrigerator. This is something we did for model change. We upgraded every surveyor across the board to a 12 volt residential type, 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Um, and another thing I wanna mention too, as we're talking about this 12 volt reefer is the fact that we've got 80 watt solar panel on the roof standard across the board on every surveyor floor plan. Um, so that's really gonna come into play if you're off the grid camping, you're gonna be able to power this refrigerator, no problem at all. Um, so keep that in mind when you're out shopping around, solar standard across the board when you're looking at surveyors. Let's move over here to the uh, entertainment area. Again, you've got a nice uh, seamless top here. So if you set cups up there, drinks, you know things spill uh, naturally you don't have to worry about that falling apart so that's going to give you some protection there you've got a bluetooth stereo here and then you've got a nice big dedicated area for a tv this is going to be uh, a spot for an optional 39 inch tv in this particular floor plan uh, so just keep that in mind but you've got a ton of space here for entertainment and i'll show you here in a little bit the seating areas we've got going on here but you've got a sofa directly across from your entertainment area um, which you don't often find uh, in a bunkhouse setup like this. So this is a very nice seating area directly across from your entertainment. So just keep that in mind. You've also got some really nice storage underneath. So if you have games, uh, Blu-ray discs, anything you've got there, it's gonna store very nicely underneath. Um, if you can pan on over here, I wanna show you one more thing before we go back to that bunk area. As you can see, we've got a walk-in pantry here, right behind the entertainment center. Huge pantry, you've got some big shelves here. You've also got motion lighting, but a very nice feature. Again, we showed you all the space in the refrigerator you're gonna need, a ton of food storage here as well for all the people that are gonna come with you, but just a ton of space in general. Um, let's head on back to the bunkhouse area and I'll show you what's unique about it. All right, we're back in the bunkhouse area of this 296 QBLE Legend. A ton going on back here, very unique setup, something you're not gonna see a ton out there on the market. The first thing you're gonna notice is this big entrance back to the bunk area. A lot of times you don't see that, you've got a much smaller door. Um, so this is a really awesome floor plan. You can sleep 10 people in here easily. You've got the teddy bear bunk mats, so very comfortable. Um, but again, it's, it's tough to find a, a bunkhouse floor plan, especially this size. 
um, weight and price category that's going to sleep four kids in the back. Um, so you don't find a lot of quad bunks out there and this is certainly a unique one. You've got the built-in ladder here which makes it easy for the kids to get up and down. They've got their own dedicated push button lights all the way around. So um, you know if one kid wants to take a nap, if another kid wants to stay up, play games, um, wherever the case may be, they can turn those lights on and off themselves which is very nice. You also have some additional storage back here. This is something that's very cool, a feature that's going to set this floor plan apart for sure. Um, you've got some huge additional storage in the back here that's also accessible from the outside which i'll show you uh, here a little bit later but a ton of storage here um, and what's very cool about this is you can stick bigger items through into this bunk area so if you have some longer items tables whatever it is you can stick them in through the back um, and have enough room to store them here so a ton of versatility with that storage back there um, but just a lot going on in this bunkhouse floor plan very unique so keep that in mind as you're out looking around for something that you know you want to sleep quite a few people this is it um, let's head on back to the front and then i'll show you the nice seating area we've got and also the front bedroom and the bathroom what you've got here is our standard jackknife sofa what separates this piece of furniture from most is that it's got the built-in cup holder so it's going to be a nice sleeping space for you as we move along here you're going to see you've got a nice big u-shaped dinette you also have a ton of storage here underneath very easy to access this under dinette storage so if you've got pillows blankets you know any additional clothing anything you want to put under there very easy to access you've got that whole area that goes all the way back to the side wall of the trailer um, open storage so it's on there you've also got a nice big sleeping space if you guys want to convert this to a sleeping area it's a ton of space very easy to convert this is a standard pedestal table. Again, you've got the seamless dinette top. But if you want to convert this to a sleeping space, very easy to do. You just take the legs off, store them underneath. Very simple, very quick to do. Um, but again, if you don't want to do that, you've got tons of areas to sleep uh, in addition to this. So you can leave your dinette up. Um, but this is a great area if you've got a bigger family to play games, to eat dinner, uh, to just sit down and hang out. A ton of space here. You can see we've got the nice residential dinette light here. So. Uh, just a great looking area and just a great setup in general for a lot of people uh, to hang out and entertain. Um, let's move on up to the bathroom. I want to show you this great bathroom space we've got going on in here. All right, we're in the bathroom of the 296 QBLE. First thing you're going to notice right away are the big doorways walking into the bathroom from the living area and also into the bedroom really helps open up the space. Nice big doorways. Um, you're not typically going to find that out there, so pay attention to that. We made a bunch of upgrades. Uh, for 2021 model change in here that I know you're gonna love. Let's start in this area here. You've got seamless countertops here, like I said, across the board. This is one of the areas where you're potentially gonna spill a lot of water. So um, if you do, it's not gonna damage those countertops. They're gonna stay nice for you for a long time. So keep that in mind. You've got some nice storage underneath here. And you've also got a dedicated trash can here, which you're gonna find across the board in all our surveyor bathrooms. So keep that in mind. That's something we really stepped back and said, hey, where do our customers need additional storage? Um, and trash storage so we incorporated that standard across the board so some nice big storage area there uh, another thing we did across the board was integrated this residential mirror with medicine cabinet behind it so you've got a, a ton of additional storage for all your smaller items you've also got um, a toothbrush holder here which is very cool so um, again we give you a residential look um, and also some very functional storage. So that's something I know you're gonna love and find very useful as you're camping in your surveyors. Let's step around here. I wanna show you some other great bathroom features uh, that we did across the board in all surveyors. We've got a porcelain toilet, standard across the board. We've been doing that for a while, but don't forget that. Um, so we're giving you a very nice feature um, at a low price point here. And we're giving you some, some additional storage as well. You've got nice residential towel hooks here and also a branded laundry bag. Everybody needs a place to put their dirty clothes um, and we've given you a very cool option for that branded surveyor laundry bag. Uh, something that's gonna be high quality um, and nice for you to carry around those dirty clothes to the laundry room um, or whatever you're doing. One of the big upgrades we did in the Legend lineup was upgrade the shower enclosure. We've got this very high-end, slow close, retractable shower door, mildew resistant, um, but this is a nice big shower um, a ton of space for you. As you can see down below, you've got the dedicated heat duct down here as well. So again, heat running through the cabinetry, um, no floor vents, uh, but you've got a nice dedicated spot there to keep you nice and warm when you get out of the shower. 
um, but a ton of features going on here in this bathroom and again nice big doorway as we step into this bedroom really going to open the space for you but what I want to mention about this split bathroom here in the 296 we've got a secondary entrance which you'll see here in a minute in this bedroom but what's nice if you have people staying with you you don't have to walk through the whole trailer disturb people that potentially are out here sleeping in the living area you know those people can access the bathroom without disturbing you in the master area here and vice versa so uh, this is one of my favorite setups personally if you have people staying with you uh, so just keep that in mind as you're out looking at different bunkhouse floor plans this is really a nice setup um, let's take a look here at the bedroom area we've got a ton of features up here excited to show you all right we're up here in the front bedroom in the 296 qble a ton of features going on up in here um, and a lot of traditional features that you see across the board um, and all surveyors some things that we do a little bit different I'm excited to get into it with you today uh, first thing I want to get into is the size of our beds we've got residential size beds across the board 60 by 80 residential queen bed um, you're gonna find a residential queen in the majority of our floor plans we do have some larger floor plans um, king bed slide floor plans that have residential king size beds but you're gonna find a residential queen even in our Murphy bed setup uh, which is very rare to find out there so just keep that in mind as you're looking around if you're somebody who's tall at all um, when you're looking at surveyors you can be confident that you've got a 60 by 80 residential queen bed it's going to fit your sheets very easy to swap out the mattress um, if you want to do that so just keep that in mind as you're out looking around but we've got a ton of storage in here i think we do storage in the bedroom better than really anyone else in the lightweight segment um, we've got oversized wards here to start so it's going to accommodate all your hanging clothes if you've got larger items um, it's going to accommodate that you've also got some nice pull out drawers on each side full extension drawers so a ton of space there and then you've got power and usb on both sides of the bed so down below you've got power and usb on each side and then back here this cubby area is something that we do that's a little bit different not everybody does it a lot of times this space goes unused but we really try to utilize this space the best we can give you some additional storage and also do some unique things make it versatile um, but you've got built-in cup holders back here and also a hidden storage underneath so that area is actually going to lift up and you've got a hidden storage area where you can put valuables uh, whatever you want to put down there and then you've got an area where you can stick cords up through and you've got power under there as well so if you've got CPAP machines or you want to hook you know charge other devices you know during the night iPads uh, cell phones whatever you've got that's going to accommodate that very nicely for you but you can see you've got the shelves up there as well so a ton of versatile storage going on back there and we've also got overheads here so um, a lot of times when you get down um, into the lower price points of the lightweight segment uh, you're going to start losing storage that's not the case here uh, you've got a ton of storage in this trailer and another thing we did too uh, was incorporate the gas strut um, into the bedroom storage so when you lift up this bed uh, to access that storage underneath it's going to have a gas strut to assist you um, so you don't have to set it on top of your head you know while you're uh, looking for stuff underneath the bed or trying to put things away uh, so that's a, additional storage for you underneath that we you know sat there and thought you know we want to give these guys a nice feature put the strut on there for you so keep that in mind but again you're going to have a secondary entrance um, exit out of this trailer um, which again is nice for bathroom use but also you know if you wake up in the morning you want to go out grab your morning coffee you don't have to disturb anybody that's potentially sleeping out there so very nice secondary entrance here um, but i just want to reiterate again um, there is a ton of space up here typically you know when you're under 35 feet um, and this is only 6,500 pounds, again, half ton towable. You're not going to have all this space. So this is a very unique layout, a ton of room in here. Again, you can sleep, you know, up to 10 people in here, uh, but a ton of space uh, and just a lot of room in this bedroom area in general, walk around bed um, and all the storage you've got here. So a lot going on in the interior of this 296. Let's head on outside. I'm excited to show you some exterior features. All right, guys, we're standing up front of the 296 QBLE Legend Travel Trailer. Very excited to get into some of the exterior features with you. The first thing I want to get into is some of the great features we've got going on up front. Uh, some of the standard features you're going to see across the board uh, on all Surveyor product. First thing, power tongue jack, standard equipment across the board. Um, on most of our floor plans, you're going to have a dual propane, uh, propane setup. Um, everything except our, our single axles where you're going to have single uh, propane. But double propane setup here. You've also got room for two batteries back here as well, so a big area for battery setup. You've got a battery disconnect standard across the board on all surveyor models. 
And you've also got this nice seven way holder, something we incorporated uh, a year or so ago, really helps get that seven way out of the mud, out of the snow, something that, you know, feedback we heard from our customers. Uh, so we decided to incorporate that, giving an additional nice feature there. We've got a huge pass through area here, goes all the way across, nice finished area. Anytime uh, you've got a, a, a front pass through area, it's gonna have motion lighting. And you've also got slam latch doors up front across the board. So again, that's gonna be a really high-end feature um, at this price point in this Legend lineup. So keep that in mind as you're out looking around. Next thing I wanna show you is this oversized awning we've got here. As you can see, we've got the nice LED strip light incorporated. But what's important to know about this is it stretches almost the entire length of the trailer and covers both entry doors. We talked about the convenience of this secondary entry door and you've got some coverage with the awning as well. So if it's raining, et cetera, um, it's gonna keep you nice and dry. All right, let's move to the outside kitchen here. We've got some great features going on, but first thing I wanna mention before we get into that um, is the fact that Surveyor's got some format of an outside kitchen across the board on all floor plans. That's almost unheard of out there in the lightweight segment. So no matter what floor plan you're looking at, you can know it's got an outside kitchen. Everybody likes to cook outside. So with Surveyor, uh, you know you're gonna have that standard across the board. So keep that in mind as you're shopping around. But we've got some great standard features in this outside kitchen, really anything you could possibly want. We've got the Suburban Griddle, the Elite Series Griddle that's gonna be standard. We've got a nice dedicated spot for that. Um, and this whole kitchen out here is gonna be metal. So again, it's gonna protect you from the elements. Um, but we've got a nice storage area that pulls out here. So it gives you nice tabletop storage for condiments, et cetera, whatever you've got. You've got a nice mini fridge that's gonna be standard. Um, some additional storage back here. You also have power in the back, so if you wanna plug in things, uh, you can do that. You've got a spray port that's standard, so you've got a water source on the outside. It comes with about a 15-foot hose, uh, so very convenient. And then you've got a dry sink here, a dump sink. Um, so you've got anything you could possibly need out here in this outside kitchen setup. But again, across the board, you've got an outside kitchen on every surveyor. Just keep that in mind. Um, let's move to the back of the trailer. I wanna show you that great storage we talked about inside and also some standard features uh, that we've got going on back there. All right, let's talk about the great standard features we've got going on here in the back of this 296 QBLE. First thing I wanna talk about is the fact that we've got standard roof ladder across the board on all surveyor floor plans. That's not something you typically see out there in the lightweight segment. What does that mean? That means we've got a fully walkable roof across the board on all surveyor floor plans. Again, pretty much unheard of in the lightweight segment. Um, we've got a fully walkable roof and also a PVC roof membrane up there. Before we wrap up, I'm gonna talk about some other construction things that set us apart from the competition, but the PVC roof is certainly one of them. It's the best roof material out there in the industry today. It's got twice the durability uh, and puncture resistance of rubber and TPO. It's more reflective, which means it's gonna keep the inside of your trailer cooler. Um, it's got the best warranty out there, 20 years, uh, non-prorated, 100% coverage. Um, and so there's just a ton of features going on on that roof outside of it being fully walkable. But that's a big advantage. You can get up there and do your maintenance and you don't have to worry about uh, the quality of the roof. It's gonna be something that's gonna stay nice for you for a long period of time. We've got a standard backup camera prep back here. So keep that in mind if you're somebody who, who wants that additional uh, you know, viewing area behind your trailer. It's a very easy plug and play system, um, but that comes standard on all surveyors across the board as well. Um, you've also got some additional storage possible back here. So on all legends, you can option the bike utility rack. Um, so that's gonna give you some nice additional storage in a bunkhouse. You can always use more storage, like I said, so that'd be nice to have that option. So just keep that in mind as you're out looking around. You do have that additional storage available to you. Um, and that's gonna be very versatile as well. So it's gonna allow you to um, store bikes if you want, or uh, it lays flat so you can put generators, coolers, anything you want on there. Uh, so a ton of additional storage available um, in a bunkhouse floor plan like this, storage that you can access from the inside or the outside. So that's, that's a great additional storage area for you as well. Um, and we do, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but we do have magnetic door catches everywhere. So again, if you have your hands full, that's gonna be, uh, gonna be a nice feature for you um, as well. Let's, uh, let's move on to the front of the trailer. Um, as we wrap up, I wanna mention a couple other things. All right, before we wrap up, I wanna talk about a couple of construction features that really set this brand apart from the competition. The first one is Asdale. Uh, we've got Asdale everywhere you see fiberglass on this trailer, we've got Asdale behind it. Asdale is a composite material that's gonna protect you from moisture. It's impervious to water. 
Um, so it's going to give you that long-term moisture protection you're looking for, a lot of peace of mind. Um, it's going to protect you from rot, mold, delamination. So keep that in mind as you're out shopping around. You've got Asdale across the board on all surveyor floor plans. It's also a better insulator, so it's going to keep the inside of your trailer uh, quieter as well. Um, and another thing that we do that's a little bit different is our aluminum framing. So we talk about Surveyor being a half ton towable brand across the board. One of the reasons that is is because we're using more aluminum uh, than most brands on the market. And what we do in addition to that is frame out all the openings of the trailer with aluminum. So at the end of the day, you've got a very sound structure uh, that's built to stand the test of time. So just keep that in mind. Um, but today we've been talking about the 296 QBLE, one of our top selling legend floor plans. Again, this floor plan is just over 6,500 pounds. Um, under 35 feet, half ton towable, can sleep up to 10 people, a ton of space in here uh, for a trailer that's under 35 feet. Um, and again, very hard to find a brand that's half ton towable across the board. So just keep that in mind. You know, you don't have to go out there and get a bigger truck. Uh, if you wanna pull a surveyor, you can pull anything we've got with a half ton truck. Um, but for more information about the Surveyor brand in general, you can go to www.forestriverinc.com slash surveyor. Um, again, Ben Holdry with Surveyor. Thanks for joining me today. This has been the 296 QBLE.